Hi YouTube! Today I want to discuss a comment I get from various viewers. They are having problems compiling the kernel modules from a Linux driver tutorial on their Raspberry Pis. And so I will try to reproduce this error in this video and show you how to fix it and why this error came up. So what you can see here is a new setup Raspberry Pi. I've downloaded the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS Lite and burned it to, a, to an SD card and I've started the machine and all I did here was, let's go through the bash history here, I changed the password so it's no longer the standard password, I update the package sources and I installed some programs. The most important one is here the Raspberry Pi kernel headers which we need to compile Linux kernel modules and the rest, okay, here we have git, my text editor to win, the build essentials for the GNU compiler and for make and fidget for this fancy um, printing of ASCII characters. Okay, and then the next thing I did was I created a new folder, this programming folder here, I went into it and cloned my Linux driver tutorial. So. Now I will try to build my simple kernel module and all I will do is I will just type make. Bam, and I'm getting this, non this nasty error. Okay, what does this say? With make minus c we try to, um, we try to call another make file which is in the folder lib modules 5.10.63 minus um, v7 plus build. And we get the error here, lib modules um, 5.10.64 minus v7 plus build, no such file or direction, stop. Okay, so what is the problem here? First thing I will do is I will check the kernel I'm currently using. Okay, this is kernel 5.10.63 minus v7 plus. Okay, this is exactly the um, version um, we want to use here. So and now if I go into lib, modules, and look what I got here, I see I have a folder called 5.10.63-v7+. So let me look into this folder. Plus, okay. We have yeah, some binary files here and a kernel folder here but we have no build folder. But when we see here we have some later kernel versions 5.10.92 plus and if we look in one of them we see it's empty there is only the build folder and in this build folder is all the stuff we need to compile our kernel modules. So the problem here is just with um, the sudo apt Raspberry Pi kernel headers um, command, we install the um, Linux kernel headers for Raspberry Pi OS, but only for the current kernel, which is 5.10.92. For our current kernel, 5.10.64 plus, we don't have um, the modules available. And this is something I don't like so much about Raspberry Pi OS. You can't install um, the um, kernel headers for a specific kernel version by default with the default repositories. This is just not possible. There is only this. Um, so, for example, if you um, sudo up search um, kernel headers, if you search for kernel headers, so let's see. Yeah, you see we have only this package here, so you can only install this package for getting the kernel headers and this will only install the kernel headers for you with, for the latest version of the kernel, which is used by Raspberry Pi OS. So how can we fix this issue? Well, it's quite easy. All we have to do is we have to update our kernel to the latest release. And when I run sudo apt update, it will give me the number of packages which can be updated. And we should see on this fresh install, 57 package can be upgraded. Okay, so all we have to do now is we have to run the update. 
with sudo apt upgrade and when we take a look to the packages which will be updated we will see here we have a package raspberry pi kernel so we will um, update the kernel we'll get the latest current kernel and i will just do this and I will pause the video for a second because this command will take about a minute to finish and I will be right back in a second. Okay, so the update is done and now if you look back into the um, into this folder we can see now we have all the binary files and so on, the kernel folder and the build folder here. So now our new kernel 5.10.92 is installed but when we check which kernel is currently running, of course, it's still the old kernel. So now we have to load the new kernel. And the easiest way to do so is just reboot the machine. So let me execute a sudo reboot here. And yeah, now it will take some time for the Raspberry Pi to shut down and boot up again. So let's give it half a minute. And after that, we should be able to build our kernel modules. Okay, let's try. Okay, here we are. I will type in my password. Let's see what kernel we are running. Yeah, all right. Now it's our new kernel. And if we go into programming. Linux drive tutorial, zero simple Linux kernel module and type make. Boom! Our kernel module is compiling. And when we check here, yeah, we have here our compiled kernel module. Okay, cool. So we have finally solved this issue. It was just about having the um, wrong kernel headers for the wrong kernel installed and all we had to do to fix it was we had to upgrade and um, run sudo apt upgrade to update to the latest kernel and then the issue was fixed and we could successfully build our kernel module. Okay, great. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you for watching and, and I will see you in my next video.